By now, you've probably read and watched a lot of glowing reviews telling you why you need SRAM's new 52-tooth drivetrain. We're going to take a little different approach and kind of walk you through the whole decision-making process of whether upgrading is a good idea for you. So it's probably useful to understand what's going on here from a marketing standpoint. Now SRAM did originally innovate a few years back with the 50-tooth rear cog set. Immediately led to a lot of breakthroughs in mountain bike technology, geometry, didn't need the front derailleur anymore. It was a very popular. So Shimano, of course, had to answer with the 51-tooth to avoid patent infringement. Now SRAM has come back with the 52-tooth. Uh, where this game of leapfrog ends, who knows? But for now, what does the extra two teeth actually gain you? It gets you a better lower gear, uh, a full lower gear, which is great for somebody like me. I need all the help I can get going up hills. But here's the issues to think about before you slap on that new cassette. Now, in a perfect world, you could take that inside that played out and the old 50 tooth one and put in a new 52 tooth because the rest of the cassette is exactly the same but that's not going to happen of course you're going to have to buy a whole new cassette what do you do with the old one i don't know nobody's going to buy an old cassette so you're out that pocket money then you have to think about the fact you have to get a new rear derailleur. Now you can use your old one. It won't shift as well, um, but it does work. However, it voids the warranty. And SRAM really doesn't want you to use your old uh, 50 tooth rear derailleur. So you've got that money out of pocket as well. The rest of your drivetrain you can stick with. You can keep the same chain ring and keep the same chain. So a couple of other caveats to think about. Now your old chain might fit on the cogs all right, but is it long enough? You've got two extra teeth, you might have to add a link or two to that chain, which may, depending on the age of your chain, the condition of your chain may not work. You might have to get a new chain. The other thing is the derailleur may extend even further down toward the ground at full extension. It's unclear because SRAM says it shortened the cage on the new derailleur, um, but it extended the parallelogram. So whether the overall reach of that derailleur toward the ground is the same or longer is unclear. However, one can assume that there's probably a good chance it is toward the ground even further and that means you're going to pick up more trail trash the twigs might get in stuck in there if you had a problem with like bashing rocks and things like that with your old derailleur think about the fact that the new one might be even worse finally they're dropped down from the 52 teeth to the 42 teeth on the rear cassette is significant and some early reports are that you really feel it in the shifting process now until we get one of these in our hands and run it through the paces um, these questions are unclear, but there are things to think about in terms of evaluating the new 52 tooth. But the easiest thing to do if you really want a lower gear is to just put on a smaller chain ring. If you've got a 32, just go to a 30. If you've got a 30, just go down to a 28. And you can even go down to a 26 as long as your frame will accommodate it. The, and that's fairly cheap. I mean, a new chain ring is, what, uh, 30, 50 bucks. Now, the other consideration is if you're uh, building a new bike up from scratch, um, I would go with the 52 tooth, uh, assuming that that rear derailleur um, hanging low doesn't bother you. Um, might as well get the latest and greatest. The pricing is the same. Shram didn't change the pricing. A uh, little bit of a weight penalty, but it's a um, uh, handful of grams is all. So there are people like me who are suckers for the latest and greatest no matter what. So chances are you'll probably see me out on the trail with one of these soon. And I will report back what I find. Thanks for listening. Comments are always welcome. And see you out on the trails.